In this next video, we're going to learn how to get started with Onshape. Now, once you sign in, it's usually going to bring you to your recently opened uh, page. And if you've never made a model or anything before, this is probably going to be empty. On the left here, you'll see that you actually have access to your full documents, which might look a little bit different than recently opened. And then there's some different collections, like you can browse the tutorials and samples in Onshape. You can look at public documents that are on the web. If somebody has shared anything with you, it would be here on the left. That's kind of similar to Google Docs. But the first thing you want to do is you actually want to go ahead and hit this Create button to make a new document. And you can go ahead and name the document, whatever it is that you're making. And it'll actually bring you to the design interface. A couple basic things about Onshape. On the left here, you'll see your features. Now, as you go ahead and you build things like sketches and models, it's gonna be listed here, and this is actually where you go to edit any of those features. Up top, you have your standard tools. Now, right now, we're in what's called the modeling mode, so we have three-dimensional tools shown. Um, and then the center are actually your views. So when it says top here, this is as if you were looking down on a tabletop, and then the front is as if you were looking at the front of an object, and then right is, of course, as if you were looking at the side. These are actually called work planes that we can go ahead and use. This device in the top right corner is your view cube. Now if I click on, if I click on these arrows, I can actually go ahead and rotate and change the view of my window here, and I can actually click on a face, and it'll automatically kind of snap me to whichever face I click on, um, which is really useful when you're working in three dimensions. Underneath the view cube is even in a smaller cube, and that has some default views uh, built in here. So if I hit isometric, it brings us back to the original kind of three-dimensional perspective, if you will. There's also ways to actually edit what you're models look like. So by default, it's kind of a non-shaded, fake-looking model. But you can actually do shading and make the object look as though it's real. Or translucence if you're making something that's going to be glass or something that's kind of clear. All that's underneath this view menu on the right here. The last thing is at the bottom, you'll see where it says Part Studio and Assembly. You can have multiple documents within one project. So up here it says sample, and that's what I named this project. If I wanted to have multiple parts, I can hit this plus button and actually make another part studio. Each part studio is kind of like an individual component of a larger part. If you have more than one part, Onshape actually lets you assemble these parts together so you can kind of simulate and see if it's going to work or not before you even go ahead and make them, which is all pretty cool.